Twinkle Originals Explorers, Mini Beasts. Did you know that this is a non-fiction book? That means it tells us information about the real world instead of a made-up story. I'll be showing you special features of a non-fiction book throughout this read-along. A contents page is usually a list found before the start of the book that tells the reader what page to find certain information. Lots of non-fiction books have fact files like this. They will tell you information about the things that's in the book. For example, we are learning about mini-beasts. So we have real pictures and we also have a description and some real facts about that mini-beast. Let's read along. Welcome, explorers. My name is Cody and I'm a caterpillar. Did you know that caterpillars are a type of mini-beast? Mini-beasts are small animals that don't have bones inside their bodies. Which of these mini-beasts do you recognise? What do mini-beasts look like? Mini-beasts include many different types of tiny animals. Some look different from each other. Some share similar features. Some mini-beasts travel by wriggling their bodies. Some mini-beasts have legs to walk or crawl. Some mini-beasts have wings to fly. Some mini-beasts can swim. Where do mini-beasts live? Mini-beasts can be found in lots of places all over the world. Near water, in long grass, in holes and cracks. Under leaves, under logs. Let's meet some mini-beasts. Ant. Legs. Six. Wings. Some ants have wings and some don't. Ants like to eat many different things, such as meat, plants, fruit or insect eggs. The antennae on top of an ant's head help it to explore the world around it. Legs, head, antennae, pincer-like jaws, eyes. Ladybird, legs, six. Wings, yes. A ladybird is a type of beetle. It has a shell on its back to protect its wings. Different ladybirds can be different colours and have different patterns on their shells. Some ladybirds have spots and some have stripes. Legs, eyes, head, antennae, spots, shell, wings. Snail, legs, zero, wings, no. A snail has a very soft body. It has a shell on its back that it uses to protect itself from predators. Snails make slime to guard their bodies from the hard ground. Shell, tentacles, eyes, head, foot. A giant African land snail can be bigger than a person's hand. Woodlouse, legs, 14, wings, no. A woodlouse has a shell to protect it from animals that might eat it. Some woodlice will curl up into a ball to stop themselves from getting hurt. Shell, head, antennae, eyes, legs. Spider, legs, eight, wings, no. Some spiders make thin threads of silk. They use this to build a web, which then catches their food. Spiders eat smaller mini-beasts like flies and ants. Some spiders have eight eyes. Legs, eyes, head. Slug, legs, zero, wings, no. Like snails, slugs have very soft bodies, but most slugs do not have a shell. Slugs make slime to protect their bodies as they move along the ground. Eyes, tentacles, head, tail, foot, caterpillar, legs, six, wings, no. When a caterpillar is big enough, it wraps itself in a special case and then changes its body completely. Some types of caterpillars turn into butterflies inside a chrysalis. Some turn into moths inside a cocoon. Chrysalis, head, legs, eyes. Butterfly, legs, six, wings, yes. 
When I'm big enough, I'll become a butterfly. A butterfly has four large wings, which can be very colourful. Butterflies like to drink nectar, which can be found in flowers. Antennae, eyes, head, legs, wings. Millipede, legs, 40 to 750. Wings, no. Different types of millipedes have different numbers of legs. A millipede has a soft body with a hard shell on top. It can curl itself up tightly to protect the soft part of its body from danger. Shell, head, antennae, eyes, legs. Bee, legs, six, wings, yes. All bees live in nests. Some bees live with thousands of other bees while some live alone. Bees love to eat the nectar and pollen from flowers. Some types of bees make honey, which they keep to eat in the winter. Some bees have a stinger, which they use to protect themselves. Eyes, head, antennae, legs, wings, stinger. Dung beetle, legs, six, wings, yes. Dung beetles like to eat poo. They live in or near piles of dung, that have been dropped by other animals. Some types of dung beetles gather poo into balls. Then they roll up the balls back to their babies to feed them. Eyes, antennae, head, shell, wings, legs. Pond skater, legs, six, wings, yes. A pond skater can move across the surface of water. It has waterproof hairs on the bottom of its feet and spreads its legs out to stop itself from sinking. When pond skaters move across the water, it looks like they're skating. This is where they get their name. Head, antennae, eyes, legs, wings. Grasshopper, legs, six, wings, yes. A grasshopper has long legs that help it jump very far. It usually lives in grassy areas. It makes a chirping sound by rubbing one of its legs against one of its wings. All grasshoppers have wings, but not all of them can fly. Antennae, eyes, head, wings, legs. Earthworm, legs, zero, wings, no. An earthworm lives in the soil. It eats lots of things like rotting leaves and roots. Instead of seeing and hearing, an earthworm feels its way around. Head, tail. Mini beasts are heroes. Although some people are scared of mini beasts, they can actually be very helpful. Some mini beasts eat from flowers, knocking seeds to the grounds and spreading pollen. This helps new plants to grow. Some mini beasts tidy up outdoor areas by eating dead plants and rotting fruit and vegetables. Mini beast poo can also be good for the soil, making it perfect for growing new plants. Let's spot some mini beasts. If you find a mini beast, you can use this chart to see if it is one of the creatures we have met in this book. Remember, mini beasts should be treated kindly, so we must not touch or disturb them. If your mini beast is not here, try looking on the internet to see if you can work out what it is. Why don't you have a look at the chart and follow the arrows and see what you find? A glossary is an alphabetical list, usually found at the end of the book, that tells us what certain words and phrases found in the text mean. An index lists names, places and things found in the book in alphabetical order and gives the page numbers where you can find them. For example, if we wanted to find nests in the book, let's see, hmm, we can turn to page 16 and there it is. I hope you enjoyed this book. For more non-fiction originals books, take a look at our collection on the website.